Welcome back to Season 3 of the Minecraft Let's Play. And we are heading out. Gotta find a house. I got my stuff. Uh, I think I got the essentials. Probably forgetting something, because I always do. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, hopefully we'll find a nice spot pretty quickly, but not too quickly, so that we're right next to spawn. Uh, I have done both extremes, like 10,000 blocks from spawn and 10 blocks from spawn, basically. Um, Wow, this looks cool. I like this place right here. That's way too close. Um, I also want to see if I can find some interesting terrain that's not plains, because I've lived in them most of the time it's in plains. Because um, I think the generation is just builder friendly and plains, um, but not annoyingly desert. <laughs> Um. <sighs> that looks interesting. It's still a bit close to spawn, though. And I don't know if I want to live in a desert either. But that does look really cool. Let's continue in this direction. Walk along the edge of this desert and jungle. Um, oh, that's interesting. There you go, little buddy. Put you back where you belong. Um, and while we're out here, actually, we can be saving my little forgotten friends who I'm convinced still just need a little bit of love. People don't love them because they're dead, but I love them. Uh, okay. Uh, there's, there's one over there. So, what was I saying? I was saying about where I want to live. I don't know yet. I'm not, I haven't picked a biome. Did I get that? No, I did not. Wait, gimme. There we go. Uh, Yeah, I really don't know. Uh, we might need to go caving also, by the way, if I just need more resources. Yeah, I brought cobble. Okay. I brought wood too, and I brought bone meal. I didn't bring saplings, so though. That's one of the things I kind of forgot. I figured it would be easy to get saplings, though. Not if we're, like, trapped in a desert, I guess. Alright, probably not going to find any of these guys anymore. Um. Alright, more planes. It'd be interesting to find a, uh... Village. That'd be cool. Uh, hopefully get some free loot, maybe some free iron armor or obsidian. Ah, swamp, okay, interesting. We might be in, uh, coming up on Green Donkey's territory in that case, since I know he... Oh, damn, I kind of thought that was too deep, okay. He was kind of wanting to live in a swamp. Um, actually, have I been here before? I don't know. I went to a swamp very briefly to get some... Slime balls for that sand generator, and I do need to get more. Even though I've been thinking about it, and I'm pretty sure the slimes that spawn in swamps on the surface um, are they require a low light level. So I don't think you can really spawn uh, farm those guys the same. Um, so, I don't know, you'd have to just kind of hunt them free range, it looks like. Ow. Pigs. I do not want to live in a snowy biome, I know that much. What the hell?
so forget about that. Uh, but I, it might be nice to live near one. We can get uh, snow. Uh, I mean ice. Ice, yeah. Pretty useful, ice is. Um, speaking of snow, apparently, as I just overheard someone, I don't know if you did too, but it's snowing here. Very interesting. First, first snow, actually, of the season here. Um, snowing a little earlier today, very lightly. Also, you know, I, I could, um, I could live in a snow biome. I wouldn't be too against that if I found the right spot, because some some taiga or icy plains um just looks really nice um but yeah i don't know the the hassle that you have to get around then is um freezing water uh, obviously and also the fact that it's going to snow all over your stuff um interesting here um i don't like terrain like that i don't i don't know if it's like a bug in the game and it's not really meant to be there or what but it's been in every release so i assume and no one really talks about it so i assume it's it's if not intentional then something they decided to leave um i'm all for hanging stuff but floating stuff like that kind of ticks me off if there's a big floating island that's fine but little ones little dinky ones like that just kind of mess with my depth perception, and I don't like it. This is pretty cool. Oh, maybe we'll live here. Look at this. Uh, I think we're going to live in a house. No, no, no. If I'm going to do my house design, I can't live in a hilly area, actually. It would totally mess the whole thing up, so forget that. We'll just keep moving. The city idea. Building skyscrapers on different hills. Um, yeah, we can climb up up here. I don't like living in, in this biome, uh, extreme hills either, for some reason. not the grass is bad there's like no trees around navigating is a pain in the butt uh, let's see where are my cords all right so I'm getting pretty far out I'm definitely definitely far enough out for me to feel comfortable settling and I definitely want to find a place at this point um, getting a little tired of exploring I get tired of exploring fast I don't like it Especially when you get this. Fucking ocean. Uh, can't decide whether or not I want to sail across it or not. I guess let's do it. I can give my spiel about uh, James Bond, which you hopefully will have seen at this point. And if not, then you hear about it now. Uh, so, if you don't know, I'm playing, or uh, I'm, whoa, 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 <laughs> I uh, am going to, if not already, post, start posting a series that I just completed called James Bond, or, or 007 uh, Nightfire, which is an old, old game, um, I want to say 2002, so it's a decade old. Actually, uh, it'll still be being uploaded on its 10-year ten, ten, uh, ten anniversary, so I'm calling it the 10-year anniversary series. Uh, and, uh, pretty, pretty nostalgic game for me, in a sense, because, um, and this is uh, on that hour-long episode that you may have also seen, I uh, undecided on whether or not I'm going to post it. I talk about this a lot, but, um, the first, it's going to start way back at the beginning, uh, of gaming for me, and when I got, when my friend got a Game Boy, 
and we'd like huddle around the, a Game Boy Advance actually and we'd huddle me and my friends would like huddle around the Game Boy Advance and play some old games and stuff like that and pretty cool um you know that was like awesome for us and then that same then this one friend got it uh and then we you know we were all like immediately like oh my god he's got a game boy you know we all wanted a game boy and eventually we all got a game boy uh, Game Boy Advance, and you know, we're all playing Pokemon. Oh god, that was some weird ass boat behavior. Good thing it didn't break. Damn. <laughs> uh, let's cut down a tree here. Then we have, um, then, f then we got, uh, th then the same kid who got the Game Boy, uh, first, uh, got an Xbox. The original Xbox first. Sorry about that. Just mouse just decided to lose focus of Minecraft. Um, and, uh, you know, then we were all like, oh my god, we gotta go to his house, you know. Because uh, he's got the Xbox. And we all wanted to play Xbox. All the time. And, uh, th the first game that he got, I, be I believe when I say this, I'm not sure, but I believe, I mean, I don't, I, w I was close friends with this kid, but I don't, I don't know too much about too much. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm, what I'm trying to say is, I, I believe him and his dad were big James Bond fans. Because uh, I remember being at their house multiple times watching James Bond. Uh, you know, we're going to actually walk through this because I might want to. I might want to settle here. Oh, nice. I hit it with an axe and I got the boat back. That's weird. Anyways. So, big James Bond fans, uh, so this first game they got was this game, 007 Nightfire. And we loved it, and played it, just played the snot out of that game. Uh, because, uh, it was multiplayer, split screen, and good multiplayer, split screen multiplayer. Um, I mean, y there were bots that you could put in, so it's like we'd be all on the same team with like, there'd be like, say, three of us perhaps, uh, playing, and, uh, there'd be the three of us versus, say, uh, like, I, what was the max, like, nine bots on hard mode, uh, and they, we'd still be kicking their ass because they're bots, but, I mean, we were also pretty young, so we weren't that good, but, uh, we got good at that game, definitely, um, playing that game over and over and over again. And uh, then he got more games, but we still basically came back to that game until Star Wars Battlefront 2, in which case we probably shared playtime equally between the two. And then Call of Duty 4 came out, and everyone got it. Um, well, I got an Xbox 360. Actually, this was kind of... I hate to say it, but I brought Call of Duty into my friends group for the most part. Um, and if I had known what it would become... <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't have done it. But um, I got an X after this kid got an Xbox. Uh, he got an Xbox, and for years, years, he was the only one with a console. Um, so we spent most of our time at his house, of course. Um, and uh, then later, I got an Xbox 360, and along with that, eventually, Call of Duty. Uh, Modern Warfare, the first one, and that's what, wh then, you know, uh, then everyone else also got an Xbox 360 and Call of Duty, and I'm not, I'm not saying they wouldn't have played it if I didn't, but, like, I'm not, like, oh, a big trendsetter, but I'm just saying I was the first one to have it, um, and we all played it at my house, but that was, uh, 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 I don't know, it turned into something terrible, in my opinion. But that's my opinion on Call of Duty. But anyways, uh, back to James Bond. Um, so we played the crap out of this game. And even even to this day, I mean, I don't really, I don't know him anymore, the, the kid but who, who originally had this game. But he had still worked for multiplayer co-op 
or multiplayer split screen split screen still worked on the Xbox 360. And uh, basically all throughout the time that I knew him, every now and then, you know, which was pretty f like pretty frequently, we'd say, "Hey, you want to fire up James Bond and play it?" Uh, and uh, <laughs> still fun, uh, still good. So I got this game from a friend and was like, I just wanted to play it for a little bit for nostalgic sake. I could probably only play it for like a night or two or, or something like that. And I started to play it and I started to play the campaign and I was like, yeah, you know what, I should just record this. So I did, made a whole series out of it. And uh, very disappointing actually. Uh, the series is good, the game is good, but it it's disappointing to me because the differences between the PC version and the console version are so drastic. Uh, it's crazy how drastic. Uh, I mean, the the HUD is the HUD is different. Um, the guns are all different. There's less of them. There's no vehicle missions, even though there are in. Uh, there are vehicle missions in the, the Xbox version. On the PC version, there are not. Um, the maps for multiplayer are different. Uh, I mean, the maps on the campaign are, are different. So I was pretty sad about it because um, it did not give me the nostalgic feel that I thought it was going to. Um, because it was basically like a different game. It, it looked like it had been made five years earlier than it had been. Um, which is just ridiculous. So if you have both Xbox 360 and PC and you want to play that game, I'd definitely recommend getting it on the Xbox. Much better. But, um, yeah. So that was bad, uh, but the series is pretty good, and I did enjoy the game. Uh, it was just kind of unfortunate. I was I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to be like every five seconds being like, "Oh, I remember this," or "Oh, that's the best gun," or "Oh, you know, um, this multiplayer map is awesome." Oh, nice. Uh, but in fact, no, uh, did not feel that way at all. Uh, let's see if someone's been here before. I'm the last person to venture out, so it's very possible. Doesn't look like it. Um, but yeah, that that game is good. Um, and should be uploading very soon. And look forward to it. So, oh, uh, uh, I was going to say, it looks like someone has been here. They dug out the bottom, but that's... That's this. Anyways. So. Um, let me know what you think about that. Now, I also want to talk about the intro for that series. Uh, I did something a little fancy with the intro. It didn't come out the way I wanted it to. And I keep saying in the video, I have an idea for the intro. You know, let me know what you think if I can pu pull it off. I didn't really pull it off, uh, unfortunately, the way I had intended. Um, the resolution, for the footage that I took from in-game. There you go. Light that up for you. Nice. So awesome. The footage that I took in-game... Uh, of the game uh, that I would then use in the intro was A, not high enough resolution man, it's a lot of gold and B uh, not I should have taken a different point um, I was actually like a couple seconds off from where I should have taken it because what I tried to do was motion track it with Blender to get some CG, implant some CG in there, uh, basically just 3D text, um, and it didn't work. The clip that I took didn't really work, but I did take the clip that I thought had like the best audio, but then 
the audio got a little messed up because the frame rate got a little bit messed up and so then now it was then it became a little uh, like desynced and then then it got resynced again when I slowed the audio down but then that distorted the audio so basically it was like a failed attempt at something that probably would have been in my opinion probably would have been pretty awesome um, so that's too bad but um, it still turned out okay uh, I still did get the 3d text in there I just keyframed it over um, so in other words I just rather than track the text to certain parts of the footage I just uh, I just put text put the text over the footage and attempted to adjust it into the same locations as I would have uh, but it's very easy to tell that it wasn't tracked computer wasn't tracked by the computer uh, perfectly it, it was tracked by me manually sloppily slop sloppily slap sloppily so that's too bad but um, hopefully it's still pretty cool uh, it's also longer than I would have liked I would have liked like a 10 second clip it's like 20 seconds um, again partly because I recorded to because I just wanted I was like okay it's gonna be a little longer than usual but also partly because of frame rate problems that slowed it down that uh, I should have I should have taken note of before I did it but I did not um, Alright, I'm beginning to hate walking, and we're not as far out as I've been before, but this entire episode has been walking and talking, um, and I want to do something else for a change. Now, one thing I have never done, this would be scrapping the city idea completely, but one thing I've never done is live in a cave. Uh, that's not true. I haven't never done it, but... I don't frequently do it because things just don't end up aesthetically working out in a cave for me. Uh, I, c I, I don't like the idea of clearing out land so that I can rebuild in the land something that looks good. I'd prefer to have open space and just rebuild, just build whatever looks good there. Um, but lots of people can pull off the cave pretty well. Alright. Well, uh, this looks pretty good this plot I might live here I, it doesn't really work for the whole city idea though the problem is I plotted this out on a creative flat world which means that I <laughs> it works best on flat terrain which is not ideal for what we got here because oh well this is really flat right here actually but it's not very big very flat so maybe maybe we ditch the city idea I hadn't really pulled it out into uh, it's full. I haven't really like, f completely planned it out yet. So maybe we live on a mountain at uh, this time. That's an interesting idea. Oh, pigs and cows. How convenient. Let's live over here. Um, let's see. Let's render in the surrounding area. See, that's dumb. Those blocks there. There should be a check in the game to make sure that stuff like that doesn't generate. It looks silly if you ask me. Uh oh. Um, what do I got? Let's do that. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, do I want to live in a snowy area? I don't, I don't know. I'm torn. I don't think I do want to live in a snowy area, but I want to live near one. Uh, and this is a pretty big one right here. Let's just find whatever biome is bordering this, and then maybe live there. I've also never lived in an ocean. Uh, that sound sounds terribly annoying. Though, uh, perhaps... It wouldn't be. Actually, that would be a flat land area. Let's do that. Let's live in an ocean. If we come across an ocean, I'm going to live in an ocean. Uh, we'll, we'll make base on the shore and then build out there, and that can be the flat zone. Um, I'd like to find an ocean bordering in extreme hills in that case. 
so that I can make my branch mine the extreme hills and get some emeralds. Uh, not that it's a huge amount of emeralds um, that you get from branch mining compared to like a giant trade, but uh, yeah. So. Um, oh goodness. Alright, promising for the ocean right here. Uh, I, I could live here, actually. Oh, what's this? Is this a beach or a desert? Probably a beach. Yeah, a beach. Um. Okay, so I want to set up camp here and then live in this ocean. Uh, so we're gonna need to start branch mining because let's let's set up base over here and we have this ice area. Um, what was I saying? I'm gonna build the ugliest house ever right now, so don't judge. I know that it's bad. I just need something temporary while we branch mine and get a bunch of cobble and coal and cook up some smooth smooth stone bricks to it's actually probably smooth stone look best uh, and use it to uh, damn it use it to uh, make the floor I'll do that before next episode probably take me a few days to do that, so that works out perfectly, because I'm two episodes ahead in my recording than I am in my uploading. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's head in over here now. Ah, okay. Awesome. Whoops. Oh, I thought I had more cobble than that. This is not going to be enough. I feel like it's been nighttime this entire trip, which doesn't make any sense. Maybe it's just been nighttime at the important parts. Okay. So all I need to do is put. Oh, you know what? I didn't bring. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to go run and shear some sheep and set my spawn over here. I didn't even think of that. Damn. This is dangerous. Is there any other way to get sh uh, wool? I guess not, really. Besides spiders, which is too dangerous to do when you're trying to get bed to set a spawn like 5,000 blocks away. So we gotta go run and get sheep. I wonder if I should wait until the morning. Probably should. Uh, let's do a little setup inside. How much wood do I got? Not too much. Let's put this in front of here. Okay. I right, gotta melt some of this snow as well. And put that guy in there. Alright. So we got crafting table. Now let's just two chests should work. Um that there, put that there, and get some of the more important stuff put away. Um, uh, and of course the dead bush, dead bu bush eye. Um. And yeah, so that's that's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please show some kind of support. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll have my shit together for next time. Hopefully, in terms of like a bed for spawn and uh, some materials for starting to build out at sea. Hopefully. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please show some kind of support. Really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode.